to a Talk IT tutorial. So what we're going to be doing today is building a simple Java game as you can see it says on my screen. The idea of this is that you go through this Java course, you learn your skills, but then you never really get to put them fully into practice. And what we do here is actually allow you to put all of those skills together and try them out in one single application. So I'm I'm not going to bore you going over all of this. I'm going to move straight to the straight to business and go to lab one, understanding the game. So we're not going to be doing any coding, unfortunately, but it's going to be more giving you an explanation of of what we're going to be trying to achieve. So, in essence, what we're going to be doing is building a very simple game. It's going to have a swing graphical user interface. You may not know what that is. You may know what that is. There's a, a tutorial on it so you can learn. Um, and it's going to be called Dungeon of Doom. Probably never heard of it. Doesn't really make much sense, but I'll try and explain it. So the Dungeon of Doom is a multiplayer game. Players can chat with each other. Um, it's a turn-based game. And the idea in simple terms is effectively trying to collect the gold and make your way to the exit. may seem quite simplistic but there is shields there's swords health potions lanterns and you can only see a certain part of the map so you may have to work your way around to try and find this exit to try and find the gold so you can see i've got uh, a few rules of the games here i can i'll run you through a, a quick few bit little bits and pieces of it Start with six action points. What are action points? So these are what depicts a player's turn. So moving is an action point. Swinging your sword is an action point. Picking up an item is an action point. And as I was saying, it's a turn-based game. So you only get uh, these six action points. Once they run out, it's someone else's turn. Um, and obviously they could attack you or get the gold and move to the exit. So you have to be a little bit strategic in how you play the game as well. So you start off with 3 HP, you can only move one block at a time, picking up an item costs one, one action point. A lantern means you can see further. So uh, on this you can actually build your own maps because of how I've done it in sort of a, f a flat, uh, flat file based format. So it's just encoded in characters. Picking up a health potion restores one HP. You start with zero gold, you need to pick up gold and you need to move to the exit. So for each map, it will have a, a set goal for the gold. So you need three bits of gold or you need nine bits of gold before you can actually win the game. Um, and another rule is two people can't occupy the same square for obvious reasons. Uh, I'd say that's enough for the rules of the game. I think it's sometimes a lot easier if you actually see it. So what I'm going to do is actually run it. I'm just going to pull over. So I'm using Eclipse right now. I mean, this is just one of the IDEs I use. I would say IntelliJ is another great IDE, especially for Java. So for, for this, I'm going to show it in uh, Eclipse. Feel free to use IntelliJ. So what I'm going to do is actually start up the server. So enter a port number. I'm going to just use 4307. Just, I don't know, I just quite like that number. Uh, client graphical user interface. I'm then going to run this and bang you can see our, our screens popped up so I'm just gonna enter in the local host address I'm gonna enter in our port number I'm gonna give myself a name and then I'm just gonna click start okay and as you can see there I am so I can move round move west move south I'm always in the center gone there I'm gonna pick up see as you can see the health potion just disappeared um, and now what I'm going to do is going to start up another user. So it is multiplayer, as I said. And same sort of things. And this person's just going to do hey. And we click start. And as you can see, there's another player right next to me. But I just need to finish my turn. And as you can see, it's all moving here. So I'm just going to click move north again, move west, move north, move east, move south, 
west and that's it that's all my six action points done i have no action points left and now it's time for this player to take their turns so i can move north i can pick up i can move south i can pick up there now i get a land and i can see more of the map I can move south again pick up and you get the idea of the game now um I mean, I can quickly show you the chat as well. So uh, I'll choose some black writing just to keep it simple. And I'm going to send that. So player one says hello. Player zero has got a hello on there and can respond as hi in six writing. Let's do that. So you can see it, it formats it for you. I'll explain that later on and how all of this works. Um, yeah. That's the, the first lab. This is what you're going to be building. It hopefully be really cool and interesting. And I hope you to see you in the next lab. Thank you very much.